Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy New Year and we will start this year with something um, positive and informative. Today we will talk about driving license in Norway because it's very important to be able to drive it here. And if you are the person who wants to get a driving license in Norway, this information will be useful for you. Today I will talk about uh, pricing, so the pricing where it starts from and then uh, what includes in this price and what you will uh, be learning uh, in the Norwegian driving schools and how to understand what they mean. So let's start uh, with about general price. Uh, I searched in different schools in different cities and I tried to find something average. Uh, of course, a lot of information also based on the school, the driving school that I went in Jovik, Jovik Traffic School, it's not advertisement. It was three years ago. Um, but uh, I wanted also to use information from the school that uh, I'm aware or I uh, have uh, experience with, so uh, I have all my, uh, in my bank account, all the prices and so on, so I was able uh, more or less uh, to compile everything together. So let's start with um, the total price uh, that includes everything, starting from the series to printing the card, but except for the practice itself. So if we don't say that uh, we want to practice at that school, maybe you already know how to drive a car and you just need a car. So this is for that case. If you want to practice, uh, then you can imagine just uh, using the price for 45 minutes practice time, uh, multiplied by how many times you, uh, you think you will need to have in order to learn how to drive a car and add to these numbers that you have here. So the total price is um, averaged for Norway is 27,322 kroners. Quite a lot, right? Let's look what comes inside this price. So first of all, theory. Theory can be a bit cheaper, it's up to you, but I recommend to use uh, the same uh, uh, information that I used. Uh, I found it quite uh, useful and interesting. First of all, book. Uh, we still sometimes use it, uh, even now, three years after I got my license. I, memory is such a thing that, uh, who knows, sometimes uh, it's worse of opening and checking. For example, if you need to drive something long, what is uh, the rules there? Because if you don't do it every day, three, five years afterwards, you could forget. So the book, uh, the price uh, comes from the official website. And until very good. Dailybook.no. Uh, this is where I took um, the prices. So this is for the personal car and uh, for Type B driver license. And then there is also different apps. Uh, I was recommended uh, by my friends to use, and I think it's cool. Also, they said it. The written Talman. Uh, I found it. Uh, it was a lifesaver. This app. It cost uh, one kroner more than the book for one month. So if you go to this uh, site, then you can see that you can rent, uh, you can kind of get access to this app for 24 hours for 74 kroners for one month for 3.99 or for seven days, 1.79. You also will get uh, access to the electronic book. So for example, for those who um, want to start learning the Norwegian uh, rules even before coming to Norway, maybe this one would be good. And it comes in two languages, English and Norwegian. Uh, so it was a lifesaver for me for the theory exam. And then exam itself cost 660 kroners per 2020. Uh, I think that uh, at least I was trying to find a different price, but all all uh, schools uh, in Norway, they have the same price in 660 kroners. So then it's up to you whether you want to buy book and app, do you want to use only book or uh, only app. So then the price will vary. I used all of that. So that's why I included all of this in the cost for to total cost of driving license. So um, you will not be able uh, to go to the final exam without the theory passed. 
Uh, I am a slow learner, so for me uh, it took more than three months to learn the theory and uh, maybe even longer a bit. I did it in Norwegian, uh, but it was hard for me to memorize everything. And in the app they were saying that uh, if you try uh, kind of going through their uh, simulation of the exam and you if you pass it five times in a row, then you are ready to go to the exam. So from experience of me and my friends, it did work actually, and everyone that I know, we passed the exam from the first time. So it was nice. Then you go to the practice. You can actually start the practicing without uh, passing the theory part. So for you to know, you can uh, learn how to drive a car while you're learning theoretic uh, aspects. If you're younger than 25 years old, then uh, you will need to go through the Graphical Vienkush. It's uh, kind of explaining you the importance of driving and so on, but I haven't been there because uh, I got my, I started getting my driving license when I was older than 25. So I cannot tell you very detailed what, what is in there, but I found in different schools a bit different prices and many schools, they didn't put the price on the net. So that's why yeah, it's somewhere in between 1,250 and 1,500 kroners. I took the smallest one when uh, price when I included it in the total pricing. Uh, you will also need to pass uh, driving in the dark, no, okay, Sherlin, uh, that cost uh, almost 2.5 thousand kroners. This is uh, mandatory for everyone. Uh, also, first uh, help, um, medical first help course. Uh, you also in very beginning or like uh, in the mid, it depends also on the school, but uh, uh, you will complete it uh, quite before going to the levels. And then uh, driving practice. Uh, so the price varied, uh, we can call it hourly hour, uh, hourly hour, <laughs> hourly price. And uh, in some schools in Norway, you can find the price in 710 kroners. Uh, in other, I've seen 730. Uh, I also found even in Jovik one school that had a price at 770 kroners. So be aware about that and check the price. So anyway, even if you have a driving license from before, you still your teacher will need to evaluate your skills and uh, tell you whether you need to get more practices or no. Uh, so that's why I included this in the price only one time kind of to show that you know how to drive. So if you are learning, multiply it by so many times as you need uh, to learn. For some people it can be 20, for some for other people it can be 50 and 100 times. So it's quite okay. It's very different and uh, it takes time because it's very important to be safe on the road. Then in Norway, yeah, there is, uh, while you're learning how to drive a car, there is uh, different levels. And uh, uh, this traffic algorithm kurs, it kind of at level one, and also learning uh, the first time how to hold the wheel and how to rotate the wheel and so on. So, but then you will have um, level two, where you drive uh, a lot. Uh, and then it's train will then two, it's kind of, um, checking uh, the teacher has a list where they check if you learned everything that is in this level and you're ready to go to the next one. And uh, then there is the same on the level three. You do exactly the same thing to pass to the level four that is the last level. And then um, in the level three, if I remember correctly, the main thing that you do is you mainly learn how to drive a car around in the streets and uh, on different con conditions, uh, um, going into higher speed and so on. On uh, level three, um, you will uh, be learning how to uh, drive. Uh, so this is a skills for Bane. Uh, it includes quite a lot of different things that uh, you will learn, but uh, uh, it's quite important and it's also driving uh, in different conditions. And for be showing is to pass some other, to learn how to drive uh, by the other cars, how to uh, go in front of them. A secret has Kyush Pavai, some of them, uh, uh, this is where you 
be learning uh, driving on the slicey road and some uh, critical things how to do uh, also long drive uh, distances when you drive uh, for two three hours uh, there is also so I don't remember which of those goes in Sika Hetskyush Pobana and which one in Sika Hetskyush Pobana, but it doesn't matter because um, actually when I got my bill, I got for two of them uh, at the same time plus payment to Navclad Shirin to the Nav uh, for renting their road, kind of for their location. And so all of this together and this will be showing it came to me as one bill so this is what uh, probably you need to be ready that, that uh, while uh, in other parts you will pay kind of one by one lesson in this one uh, most likely you will get the one bill so just be ready then imagine that you are done with all this uh, teaching and everything is good and the next step is for you to go to the final exam uh, before final exam, uh, in every school, you will have uh, kind of, depending on the school, it could be 45 minutes or maybe 90 minutes driving just to warm you up and to get you ready to the exam. And then together with the teacher, you go to the start and survive lesson where it will be your examinator. Uh, you will pay to the school, school for renting a car, so it differs quite a lot this uh, rent car from school, the pricing. I use the one from my school. And Stat and Svevesen, it's where you pay to the organization who examinates you. And uh, this the price, uh, it's the same for the whole Norway. And so all of this together, it is a pricing of your final exam. Uh, so the first two you pay to your school and the last one you pay to the and congratulations, you passed your exam and now you go and take your uh, picture and um, pay for producing your card. And then within uh, 10 weeks, you will get uh, your driving license in the post. Meanwhile, you will have a piece of paper in which it is stated that you uh, received your driving license and you can go uh, on the street and start driving your car even uh, uh, while you're waiting for your driving license to be printed out and sent to you. So that's the main steps that you go through and uh, the payment that um, includes here. But uh, in some schools, you can find the tricks that you don't pay everything like this separately. Uh, but for example, as in uh, Trond Trondheim uh, Traffic, Traffic School, I think we have also one of these in, Nor in Jovic. But be aware, so when you do this and you pay this package that is a bit cheaper, in the package uh, it doesn't include uh, producing the card, uh, producing a card, final exam, theory and payment to NAF, it's not included. So in addition you need to include these expenses, but what is really cool that you have a 10 driving lessons included, or another 115. So it's kind of a cheaper version. Uh, but then uh, you need to be sure that you will go to this school and you don't want to change it because school from school is different, teacher from teacher is different. And um, not always uh, you can get at first the best school uh, or maybe something that doesn't suit you. So be uh, sure, I don't know, for me it's important, maybe not for you. But for me, it's very important the style, how a person is going to teach me and drive a car. Um, because uh, if I will be stressed too much, I will be nervous and I'm going to make many mistakes. So for me, it was critical. But you can save the money in that way. And if I remember correctly, uh, you will actually... Uh, you will actually will uh, need to pay it at once if I'm not mistaken. So this is another thing to consider. So here it's written that it's not included a traffic called Grünkirch. So it's the this one. First year, Merkeshirin, and this payment to NAF. Uh, and Staten. So it's not included. So just for you to be aware. And uh, the book you can find on this side and I will put it in the link and then the link to the app that I recommend you also can find on this side. 
So how much I spent on my driving lesson, uh, lessons and uh, getting my driving license uh, and other on other your questions, I will tell in the next video. Thank you for watching it to the end and uh, good luck with your driving license in Norway and don't forget to like uh, my video, subscribe and uh, just write some comments or some questions that you have. See you next time. Bye.